This is Trio. Yuna, wake up. Yuna, wake up. Report to command deck. Life pod distress signal received. How is the life pod doing all the way out here? We're not close to any outposts. Must be empty. Nobody can survive in a life pod alone in a few weeks. Okay, scanner's got it. Here it is. Bren, what do you make of it? I'm scanning for any concealed weaponry, covert devices. Nothing malicious or subversive that I can see. Well, infrared shows what's probably a human life form on board. You know, bring her aboard. Her vitals are weak. She's alive. I'm gonna give her a stimulant. Well, she's got no injuries. Her vital signs are normal, but she's not waking up. I did find unusual traces of a chemistry in her bloodstream. Brett, I'd like you to do a genetic mapping for me. Mm -hmm. Well, as soon as she regains consciousness and she's lucid, I want to talk to her. I want to know where she's from and what she's doing out here. Through the vastness of space, a single ship carrying a crew of six speeds toward Earth. This is the story of their mission, to restore human life to a home they have never known. structure is similar to our own life pods, except that this one has been retrofitted for cryosleep function. So, crawl in and it's lights out to the next stop. Well, here's something our pods don't have. Hyperspace capability. It should be impossible, but this thing's been zipping all around space for over a year. Wow. Check this out, guys. The activity log. This pod's been ejected from four different vessels over a period of ten years. What's that all about? Good question. Zach, can we hack into the flight video record and uh, check the last entry? <laughs> Watch me. Quick, anybody. What's the square root of 65,536? 256. <laughs> On screen. Lifepod L9, this is the Cygnus. Return to the ship immediately. That is an order. Kira Magantic, we know you are aboard Lifepod L9. You are under arrest. Surrender now and return to the sickness. Take it easy. Take it easy. You're okay. I'm Lise. I'm the medical officer on this ship. I'm Kira. Where am I? You're aboard the spaceship Deepwater. I think I've heard of the Deepwater. Heroic mission. This is Gret. She's our geneticist. I'm gonna have her do a medical workup on you. Be right back. If you need anything, call me. Shut down your thrusters. She's ignoring us. Go after her. Maximum speed and full power to the tractor beam. What happened? I'm not sure. Life pod sensors recorded a violent concussion. As if the Cygnus had exploded. Correct? Yes. Can you help me, please? Sure. Um, how do you feel? I feel like I'm close to dying. We're not going to let that happen to you. You can try not to let that happen. But sometimes you don't succeed. Sometimes you just have to sit by and helplessly watch somebody die. Have you ever had to do that, Gret? Um, actually, yes. Tell me about it. Please. I 
was on, uh, on Araxis. And I, there was so many of us, and, and we had tried so hard, but we had failed. There was somebody there that I was very fond of. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what came over me. I guess I'm, I'm just overtired, you know, long hours. I'll be fine, I, I will. We were returning to Ares 19, a terraformed colony in the Delta T solar system. And what was your mission? Scientific, we were testing a new ship design. So why did you enter your life pod? The fusion reactor was melting down. When you ejected from your ship, it was apparently in good order. The last transmission on your video flight recorder names you as a fugitive under arrest. And at the exact moment, the Cygnus exploded. You want to tell me the truth now? That's it. You listen to the criminals who were after me. So you think I somehow caused the destruction of the Cygnus. You're a typical engineer. Selfish and arrogant. Arrogant? Who are you? You don't even know me. What do you get off making judgments about me? The fusion reactor had the nasty little habit of exploding under stress. The engineers who designed them wouldn't admit it was their fault. So people died. Uh. That still doesn't explain why you were escaping from your ship. I had proof which would have exposed certain important, powerful people. They were going to terminate me, so I escaped in the pod. When they decided to pursue me, it must have overstressed the faulty reactor and caused a meltdown. Jen, I need you to help me analyze this. Kira has an extra strand of genes in her DNA. During the height of the plague years, there were human colonies pursuing gene splicing as a route to immunity from the plague. Chances are some of these colonies survived. Probability is that Kira is a descendant of one of these experiments. Bed, bathroom, dresser, it's compact but convenient. I'd say compared with my last accommodations, it's spacious. Thank you, Commander. You know, you should smile more. I know you're military and have to present that stern, combat-ready appearance, but uh, I'm not an opponent. I'm just a guest. And I like your smile. Thank you. Um. Yeah, thanks. I, I'm really sorry, but I have to lock the door. It's uh, security procedures, for now at least. Um, uh, everything you need should be in the dresser, communicator, and um, other various necessities. Just call if you need anything. I don't have extra genes. You have genes missing. That's why you're not immune to the Pandora virus. Here, let me see your hand. I'll show you how the lines in the palm differ. See the two cross lines on my palm? A kind of genetic mark. You have a hard time making a connection with people, don't you? I sensed a warmth and compassion from Lee's. A genuine flow of humor from Bren. Reb gets stirred up, defensive, angry, very human. But you, on the other hand, you are withdrawn and isolated, aren't you? 
You're trying to be human. You're ironic. Sarcastic. Detached. It's so sad to be so distant from other people. Not to feel the warmth and the joy of connection. You're tired. Go back to bed. Sorry, it's locked. Oh, uh, just a minute. Oh, she must be Kira. I I'm Zach. I, I found this on your life pod. I presume it must be yours. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you found it. Would you like to see? Sure. My family. My mother. My father. Uh, who's that, your daughter? No, it's my little sister when she was about eight. Isn't she sweet? Yeah, <laughs> she is sweet. You look sad. Is there someone you're remembering? Yeah, sort of. We're lucky we have someone to remember, even if they're sad memories. I have to get back to the command deck. If you just step inside, I have to enter the security code to lock the door. Her whole story is bogus. She claims that a sudden demand for power caused a meltdown in the Cygnus's reactors. Reactors are built with multiple redundancy protection. And they have all kinds of sensors to guard against any catastrophe. It can't happen. To the deep water, maybe. But in the case of the Cygnus, who knows for sure? Well, I did a thorough examination of the pod. Fascinating cybernetics. Hey, what about this proof Kira says she has? This so-called evidence against the ship designers? Nothing. No disks, no chips, no data banks, nothing. Yeah, just as I figured, not only is she disagreeable and annoying, she's also duplicitous. So we program her pod into hyperspace. I don't see what the problem is. The problem is I want her gone now. Can you understand that? It's all right, Reb. We agree with you. Well, it's about time. Zach, get me a star locator plotting on the Delta T solar system. You know what, I just, I don't feel like doing that right now. What? I want it, Zach, and I want it now. Reb, please calm down. Reb, we've been at this for three hours. It's not like it's desperately urgent. I would like to plot a hyperdrive plan to Ares 19. Is that okay with you guys? Huh? It's not him. It's her. Kira's messed with all of them. Reb, Bren, Gret. Look at Zach. What do you mean? I don't know yet. But I'm gonna find out. Friday. Play well, aren't you the happy one? I am. I am. I don't know. Ever, ever since I talked to Kira, I've been feeling uh, kind of different, you know? Like uh, things that were so important before, they just kind of seem absurd now. Fred, can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you think that I am distant or, or detached or sarcastic? No, no. With me, you're not. But, you know, you can be kind of cold sometimes. Thank you. Wait.
I go back to work. I have a lot to do. Later. Maybe. Sometimes, without wondering where we're going or what we're doing. I'm sorry about back there. I was kind of... Snarly? Yeah, you were. You okay? Yeah. Just been awake too long. Losing it. I'm sorry. Forget it. Why don't you shut down? I'll check on grip before I turn in. Okay. So I've done a workup on Kira, and the extra strands of genes apparently are causing increasing levels of endothymine and oxydinase. And I know that there is something else. I just, I can't solve it, you know? I'm just, I'm too tired. Yeah, so am I. Well, whatever it is, the problem will still be here tomorrow, right? Yuna, it's not a crazy idea. Look, there's a very distinct pattern. I think she somehow induces emotions in us and then feeds on them. What, like a vampire feeds on blood? Please. No, she had Gret dissolving in tears, and Zach went into a state of deep depression. I have to admit, she did have a bad effect on Rev. I mean, he was crazy, almost manic. I can't believe I actually settled him down. You settled him down. How? I, I gave him a hug. Gave him a hug? Yes. Actually, it's not a bad idea. We have to put up with her for another three days? It's the best I could do. Why? What's the problem? Hyperspace vector points are temperamental. So we stay away from her until we get there? No, we keep her confined to quarters until we get her back in the pod and back to Ares 19. That's it, isn't it? Lock me up like a prisoner, then get rid of me? No, Kira, we're not blaming you. We just want to keep you from having a toxic effect on us. Toxic? I'm not even close to toxic. Yeah! Kira, easy. <laughs> Kira's gone crazy. We need help. Zach, stay away. Wait a minute, Kira. We're just trying to help. Take it easy. Freeze! Ren, don't. Let me handle this. Kira, what am I feeling? What is it? I don't know. Yes, you do. What am I feeling? Oh, no. Don't. Tell me, Kira. It's... It's love, isn't it? Oh, please. Please don't. It's love. That's what you're feeling. Stop. Please. Please let go of me. You're killing me. I'm trying to save you, Kira. It's all right. It's all right. Trio Films. Critically acclaimed. Television, the rest of the world is watching. Okay, we've got you stabilized now. I feel like such an idiot. I'm so sorry. I mean... That was awful. You couldn't help it. Your body was building up intolerable levels of oxydinase and endothelamine. But why? Well, we don't have a clear answer, but we think it's linked to your altered genes. It could be that when you're at home, your interaction with others prevents the buildup. We've already programmed your pod. It'll take you home as soon as you're ready. And I've made contact to ensure you'll be taken to safety. Thank you. Kira, we've contacted your associate, confirmed the flight plan to Ares 19. Stand by to disengage. Thanks, Deepwater. Safe voyage. Greg. Greg. It's Bren. You there? 
Come on, good. talk to me. Talk to me. What I said before. I meant it. Denver's number four. Set the reactor relay. And recharge routines. What? You were talking to yourself. It reminds me of our first time on the command deck, just after we woke up. Yeah. We were so green. Tonight on Trio, Linehan, followed by three.